It's a silent, invisible killer that claims thousands of lives in Europe each year. But how can we detect it to prevent unnecessary deaths? Workers at this construction site in England are not alone among the rubble. Researchers have installed a small box and a computer. They're here to track the eventual presence of a fearsome enemy that's nowhere to be seen and doesn't smell. Asbestos. This is our prototype um, asbestos detector alert. It's currently plugged into a laptop, which does all the data recording and manipulation. Uh, this is displaying the scattering pattern from every particle that goes through the instrument. In here it's quite dusty, but it's random dust rather than being fibrous, so we're not seeing any fibres at all. It works by drawing air in through this inlet um, into a, a chamber where a particle is illuminated first by one laser and the, the scattering pattern from that is captured. It's then exposed to a magnetic field which pref preferentially rotates asbestos fibres against non-asbestos fibres. When exposed to magnetic fields, asbestos fibres react in a very particular way. They rotate. Researchers match that property with laser science to develop their device. This fibre is about a thousand times larger than an asbestos fibre. But when we introduce it to a laser beam, it illuminates in exactly the same way as an asbestos fibre would, creating a very, very similar um, scattering pattern. Their work also involves dealing with real asbestos fibres, risky research techniques that are now possible thanks to huge technological advances. And not only that. The primary reason that this hasn't been done before now is uh, funding issues. Um, lasers were very expensive and computing power was very expensive. So you couldn't make something cheap and portable that people could take out into the field and use. Now lasers have come down in price and computing power has come down in price. Back to the field test, researchers are confident their prototype works. Now they're looking ahead. The next step from this prototype is to remove the laptop to have some internal electronics doing the data analysis. Um, after that we'd like to increase the airflow so that it We'll look at more particles per second and we can get a larger proportion of the air in a room through the instrument more quickly. We have already in mind a handheld version of alert. We feel that we need to have a, um, a unit that is worn so when a contractor is, is drilling and hammering it breathes the same air that he breathes. Uh, that would give a vibration and an audio alarm. It only takes one fiber to be inhaled to do um, substantial da damage. So you want to avoid, wherever possible, to have contact with airborne asbestos. 